वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम सेवन डैश थ्री सो स्टेटमेंट इज इफ वाइट फ्लैंज बीम इज सब्जेक्टेड टू अ शेयर ऑफ ट्वेंटी किलो न्यूटन डिटरमाइन द शेयर फोर्स इज रजिस्टेड बाय वेब ऑफ द बीम सो दिस इज अ वाइट फ्लैंज बीम देर इज अ शेयर ऑफ ट्वेंटी किलो न्यूटन ऑल द डायमेंशन ऑफ दिस बीम क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ द बीम इज शोन ओवर हेयर सो यू हैव टू डिटरमाइन द शेयर फोर्स रजिस्टेड बाय द वेब सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द सोल्यूशन सो we know that uh, the shear stress is equal to v into q divided by i into t shear v is given here that is 20 kilo newton we do not know q we do not know i and we do not know t so first we will find i how we will find i so we know that i is equal to 1 over 12 bh q clear now you can see we will uh, take this whole cross section as a rectangular having width is 200 and height is 340 mm and we will take the moment of inertia and then we will subtract these two empty portion so i will write it uh, i is equal to 1 over 12 b is given as 200 mm so in meter it will be 0.2 into h h is total height which is 20 plus 300 plus 20 340 so it will be in meter it will be 0.34 so b h q clear minus this portion i will show you this two times of this portion this portion so this portion having width some width clear and this width is Zero point nine, clear, and uh, this height that is given as three hundred. So I will write minus two times because there are two portions. So we will write uh, two portion and one over twelve. B is this portion. So this portion is. Two hundred minus twenty, which will be one eighty, and one eighty here it will be ninety mm. So ninety mm is zero point zero nine into height is thirty three hundred, which is zero point three meter. So whole uh, Q, uh, cube. This is also cube, not four. So again, when you solve this, so you will get. I is equal to zero point two five zero one into ten to the power minus three meter power four. This is the value of I. Now we have I as well, so we will find Q. How you will find Q? So Q we know that Q is equal to sum of Y dash bar into area. Okay. now we will go to the cross section of the beam and we know that we have been given for web so for web we know that y is greater or equal to 0 and less than 0.15 so this is the portion of web so this is the neutral axis so y is 0 over here till this point so your y should be less than 0.15 for that we will find this q so q is equal to i will write over here q is equal to sum of y dash bar into area now if you take any uh, variation of y for example if you are taking this y is this one if you are interested to find out the shear in web Uh, till y till this y so what we will do is that now you will have total this portion that is about the neutral axis so we will find the q for that okay so first this you you will consider this is a first member and this is the second member now for first we know that uh, y bar will be this one i will show you if you take the half of this section so this distance will your this distance will be equal to 
y1 dash bar and you can see this is equal to 0 0.15 plus half of this 0 0.02 so this will be equal to 0 0.16 meter so zero i will write it 0 0.16 into this area this area and this area is 0 0.0 0 0.2 into 0 0.02 so 0 0.2 into 0 0.02 plus now we will go for this portion this area so this area is again you can see its width is 0 0.02 and its height this height is equal to 0 0.15 minus y 0 0.15 minus y i will also write it this distance from here this will be equal to um, 0 0.15 minus y okay so your area for 2 is 0 0.02 multiply by this area which is 0 0.15 minus y now what about y2 dash so y2 dash your y2 dash will be this one the half of this till this point okay so this is your y2 dash and this y2 dash bar is again equal to i will write 1 over 2 y plus 0 0.15 okay how because if you put y is equal to 0 so you can see this is this this will be the total area clear and 0 0.125 divide by 2 will give you half but you are taking y as variation from this neutral axis so if you put y is equal to 0 you will get this whole if y is not equal to 0 so it will give you y2 dash for the web okay so we will we will multiply it with 0 no, 1 over 2 multiply by y plus 0 0.1 one five again when you solve all this equation for q so you will get q in the i will write the last equation that is 0 0.865 into 10 to the power minus 3 minus 0 0.01 y square so this is the value of q i will write it over here so q is equal to 0 0.865 into 10 to the power minus 3 minus 0 0.01 y square okay now we have q as well clear we have q we have i we have v and thickness of web is 0 0.02 so all the values are there so you can just put it in this equation tau is equal to v into q divided by i into t so v is uh, 20 kilo newton that is given 20 into 10 to the power 3 will convert it into newton q is 0 0.865 into 10 to the power minus 3 minus 0 0.01 y square divided by i i is 0 0.2501 into 10 to the power minus 3 which is over here and thickness of web is 0 0.02 again when you simplify all this so you will get somewhat like this 3.459 into 10 to the power 6 minus 39.99 point, point into 10 to the power 6 y square and the answer will be in pascal so this is the shear stress we are we have been asked to find the shear force shear force resisted by web and that shear force if we take uh, uh, shear force so it will be equal to two times integral of ta into da and this zero from zero to zero point one five so i will explain first this so you can see that uh, this is the web portion 
clear so again we were playing with the half upper half of the portion so total shear stress will be equal to two times so two times integral of tau into dA clear and 0 to 0 0.15 why is here is 0 until this is 0 0.15 and we are multiplying it by 2 to get total shear stress in this whole web okay so for that what we will do is that uh, you have to uh, you have to take a small portion let this portion this portion this is your dy clear uh, sorry uh, this dy and this portion small which i have shared it over here having area da so da will be equal to 0 0.02 which is the width into thickness is dy so da is this so what we will do is we will put the value over here so two times integral of 0 to 0 0.15 and this shear stress is 3.4.59 into 10 to the power 6 minus 39.99 into 10 to the power 6 y square clear into da and da is 0 0.02 into dy now this is a very simple integral when you integrate it you have to multiply 0 0.02 with this value as well as this value and you will take the integral so when you integrate it and you will take the limit clear and at last you will multiply it by 2 you will do it by yourself this is very easy again if you have any question you can ask me at any point so when you calculate it it will be 18.95 into 10 to the power 3 newton or simply v is equal to 19 kilo Newton. So this is the shear stress that is, uh, this is the shear force that is resisted by the web. I hope you, uh, you are enjoying my videos and you are learning from it. Uh, those who are new to my channel, clear, I will request them to subscribe it and sh share in your community so that maximum people can learn. Again, if you have any question, you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching.